The solar system is our cosmic home in the universe and it is much bigger than most people think. Stay tuned to learn all about it and if you like it, we'll be happy if you give it a thumbs up. Welcome to Space Ping. What is the solar system anyway? You hear the term all the time, but could you really define what it is? First of all, the solar system is one of many in our galaxy, the Milky Way. Astronomers estimate that the galaxy consists of at least a hundred billion individual systems. Each star in the Milky Way is its own solar system. Incredible, isn't it? And then, of course, there are lots of other galaxies outside the Milky Way, which also are made up of billions of stars. So we can conclude that our solar system is just a grain of sand on a gigantic cosmic beach. I really should become a poet. But although it is very small on a cosmic scale, it is of course immensely important for us. Our Earth orbits around the Sun and without its gravity and light we could not exist. But where is the end of the solar system? Many people think that the small dwarf planet Pluto would be the last frontier of our system, but that's wrong. The solar system actually goes on for a very long time after that. Currently, several space probes such as Voyager 1 and 2 and New Horizons are exploring this unknown distant region of our system. Where the final frontier really lies is disputed. Some researchers say the end would be the heliopause. We are in a gigantic bubble, the so-called heliosphere. This is the area where our sun keeps dangerous particles from the rest of the galaxy away from us by its high energy radiation. Thank you sun, really nice. And the boundary of the heliosphere is the heliopause. Behind it you are in the so-called interstellar medium. But I think that this is not really suitable as a boundary of the solar system. Because the gravity of the sun does not stop there. Still far behind the heliopause there are objects which are attracted by the gravity of the sun. Perhaps even new planets which we have not discovered yet. And the place where the sun's gravity is just strong enough to attract objects is called Oort Cloud. That in my opinion is the true end of the solar system. Here you can find large numbers of pebbles, dust grains and mysterious comets, large chunks of ice. All these objects form a kind of shell around our system. So if you want to leave the solar system you have to pass Star Wars like through this collection of space rocks. And how long does it take to get there? Well. The Voyager probes, the most distant man-made objects, will reach the Oort Cloud in 300 years and will not have completely crossed it for another 30,000 years. You see, the dimensions of the Oort Cloud are unimaginable. Some astrophysicists believe that it is just under one light year in size. Since the Oort Cloud is so far away, our only chance to explore it is if objects stray to us from back there. Such objects are usually comets. These icy wanderers travel gigantic distances, approach the sun and then fly all the way back to the outer reaches of the solar system. So comets are like messengers from regions completely unknown to us. Now I would be interested in your opinion. Where is the end of the solar system? At the heliopause or at the Oort cloud or somewhere else entirely? Write me your opinion in the comments, we answer as many as possible. If you enjoyed this video, we would be really happy if you follow our channel to start your own journey into space. And for more space content, click on the video shown here. See you in the next video, take care and clear skies.